Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. High density polyethylene or HDPE is a super common plastic that's fairly inert from a chemical standpoint and really easy to machine. We carry it in 3x5 inch bars and you can source this stuff online in a much wider variety of shapes and sizes if you need it. Today I'm going to walk you through some recipes with our 102 8th inch 2 flute end mill and provide some additional tips for achieving a good surface finish. First up is pocketing, 10,000 RPM and 100 inches per minute. That's an effective chip load of 5 thou per tooth. Depth of cut, 0.035 inches and a 50% step over. I basically just took my acrylic recipe and cranked it up by a little bit. For a 2D contour, I'm backing off slightly on depth of cut, so only 0.025 inches per step down. This is mostly out of an abundance of caution because the extra wall contact on both sides of a deep cut can increase spindle load, especially with such large chips forming. But honestly, there's a good amount of margin here, so if you're doing a shallow cut, feel free to take a slightly deeper step down. You'll note here that I'm not bothering with any lead-in or ramp moves, because in a material this soft, you really don't need them. And then, for adaptive, you can just about max out the machine. 10,000 RPM, 100 inches per minute, 8th inch depth of cut, 0.035 inch optimal load. It's rare that we get a full end mill diameter deep in material, but HDPE is wonderfully forgiving in this case, and in this convex geometry, that recipe will net you a substantial time advantage over pocketing. I'm using an 8 degree helical ramp in only because it's good to start an adaptive toolpath with some clearance to spiral out. Now, here's a small wrinkle in the process. I usually run every toolpath in climb cutting mode, but in HDPE and other really soft materials, that can actually leave material attached to the wall as shown by my really poor, literally, back-of-the-envelope sketch. So running a finishing toolpath in conventional cutting will actually yield much better results. Here I'm taking a 2 thou per tooth, or 40 inches per minute finishing pass at the full depth of my pocket, which is 3 eighths of an inch. And as you can see here, the walls finished with conventional cutting have much less cleanup needed than the ones finished in climb. The principles here should translate fairly well to smaller and larger end mills, keep a generous chip load, and use conventional for finishing. Hope these guidelines help, good luck, and have fun machining, folks.